testing out some products that claim to be waterproof or water resistant and we're gonna see if we can actually make some products waterproof. Simple sensitive skin light moisturizer with SPF 15. This is my go-to for every day because it is more of like a waterproof makeup wear test. I'm not gonna put on primer. I'm testing out this product from the brand Catrice Makeup Transformer Drops. Liquid drops to make any fluid Catrice makeup waterproof. Shake well before you and mix three drops with usual daily makeup amount. So we're gonna mix really well and the foundation we're going to be using is Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation SPF 20 which has a brightening complexion. So I'm basically layering all my SPF. So we have about that much foundation. One, two, three. Ooh, that was a lot. Mix this whole little concoction up. We will see how this holds up through the day. Apply it directly on to the face, no primer. There definitely is a white cast. Set the foundation with the Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder. It's supposed to be waterproof and it's also transparent. You look really, really pale. Kat Von D Dark Brown Super Brow Pomade. It does say that it's waterproof on the packaging. We don't want to be really, really overdone, even though, you know, the foundation with all that is pretty much overdone. Curl the lashes. The L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Waterproof Mascara in the color Blackest Black. So I went ahead and searched through my foundations for a darker one. This is a Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin SPF 15. This is a tad bit too dark for me. Three drops of the Makeup Transformer Drops Waterproof. We're going to use this as bronzer. Let's see how this turns out. I'm gonna set it again with the Catrice Prime and Fine Waterproof translucent powder so you can definitely see there's like a little bit of um, a color trace aqua ink in gloss a lip stain so this is in the shade 40 let's mauve to the beach so i was thinking this would be great especially well number one for the lips because it's a stain dab this right onto the cheeks gently set the blush with translucent powder from Catrice. I honestly, I like the way how the foundation looks. I like the way how it feels on the skin, but it is a tad bit on the lighter side, but we're just gonna make it work. The whole point really of this video is to test and see if it really is waterproof. 1.22 p.m. Gonna head out Six Flags Hurricane Harbor for the afternoon, go in the water. We'll see how the makeup holds up. <laughs> <laughs> and the makeup right now looks okay. I got a bit of like mascara spottage right down here, but it's nothing that's too bad. I'm about to go in the wave pool. This is how the makeup is looking after the swim. I just didn't touch my face. I'm gonna head over to Six Flags Magic Mountain, run some errands, grab dinner and then head on home. It is now 10.02 p.m. I'm back for the final check-in. I didn't touch up, left it as is. Even when I came home and my mom saw my makeup, she said she wouldn't have even guessed that I went into the water. The brows still look amazing, mascara. I still have like a little bit of a tint to my lips. You can definitely see like a tad bit of the darker foundation and a slight hint of the lip stain, which I also use as a blush. Give you guys my feedback on all five of these products. We're gonna first start with the Catrice Prime and Fine Makeup Transformer Drops Waterproof. I think it absolutely does what it claims. It will transform your foundation into a waterproof formula. 
Only thing to note about this is that you definitely want to use a foundation that is shade or two darker. It will change the color of your foundation. It will make it lighter. Now the Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder Waterproof Transparent. I feel like these two products definitely work hand in hand. If you pick this up, definitely pick up the powder as well because with this on its own, Yes, it does the job, but with the powder on top of it, I think it kind of just locks everything and sets it in place. I know it says it's transparent, but it does have like a little slight bit of a whitish cast to it. You just want to use it sparingly. They definitely work hand in hand. L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Waterproof Mascara in Black is amazing. I know I first said when I was talking to you guys at Hurricane Harbor that there was a little bit of flakage going on, but even being in the water and swimming in the water, it didn't create raccoon eyes. It's waterproof, it's budge proof, it stays. The Catrice Aqua Ink In Gloss Lip Stain in the shade 040 Let's Mob to the Beach. I think that this is a wonderful product. Definitely stained my lips. You guys can see it still has a bit of a stain to it. The thing I liked most about this is that it didn't make my lips look dry or cracked as it wore throughout the day. The color was definitely still there and using it as a blush, just want to make sure you blend it in fairly well just so that it doesn't look blotchy or splotchy. But last but not the least, Kat Von D. This is a 24 hour super brow in the shade dark brown which is supposed to be waterproof. You guys, this brow product blew me away the brows are looking they are so on point right now even with my Anastasia Beverly Hills it still holds up but there is a bit of fading this the brows they look so spot on from how I applied them earlier do the whole brow wipe right now let's see how this baby does and I am honestly like applying a ton of pressure if I had done that with my Anastasia Dip Brow, as much as I love that product, it would have wiped off just like that. But for me, they passed the test with flying colors. So let me know your thoughts. Do you guys think that these five products pass the waterproof test? And if you guys have tried any of these products, I would love to get your feedback on them as well. So if you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, smash that like button as well as don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification, turn those post notifications on to be notified of new uploads. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys check out the ones right over here. You might enjoy those as well. Thank you guys as always so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.